Yo guys, I'm back with another video, how to file taxes without a job using TurboTax. If you have an account, just sign in. If you don't, create one, and let's go. On this page right here, you want to select, I have a job and I pay rent, and select continue. Right here you want to put, I'm comfortable with doing my own taxes and select continue. You want to do everything yourself, file for zero dollars. Let's go. We'll start by getting to know you. You have to put your first name, last name, date of birth, and your zip code, and select continue. On this page right here, you want to put did not file last year. How are you feeling about doing your taxes? You want to put good and then select continue. You want to put single. Then you want to scroll down, select I pay rent and continue. And on this page, you want to select job, job expenses for W-2, and then select continue. Great, keep going. And for this page, review and sign, you do have to sign it, but you do not have to agree. So just sign it, and then select no thanks. And once again, you want to sign this and select no thanks. Continue. We need a few more details. Let's go. Your personal info should be pre-filled, but you have to put your social, your occupation, and answer the rest of the questions and select continue. Continue. No children. You want to put your mailing address, your city, your state, phone number, and select continue. Did you make money in other states? 
No. Continue. Continue. Just a summary. When you're done, click continue. Make sure everything is right. You don't want to pay for anything, so you want to select not now. And then add my income. Work on my W-2 and select continue. Right here, you want to put your employer's EIN. For this example, I'll be using Dollar Tree. Upload your W-2. You want to type it in myself. And there you go. Everything is pre-filled from the EIN number. Now this is probably the most important page to the whole application. For box one, you can put whatever number you want. But for this example, I'll put $129,500. You can put whatever number you want, but you have to make sure the percentages are correct. Now we have to see the tax with the hell from this. So we go over here, and the bracket we're in is 89075 but not over 170,050. So automatically it has $15,213 in tax plus 24% of what goes over 89,075. So to figure this number out, we have to put our number 129,500 minus 89,075 in order to get our number to see what we have to take the 24% from. So 129,500 minus 89,075. And that equals 40,425. Now we have to see what is 24% of this number. So we'll go back to our calculator and we'll do this number minus 24%. And our number is 9,702. And then you want to add that to the original bracket tax. So you want to add that number. Nine seven zero two plus fifteen two one three fifty. And that'll be $24,915.50. And we could just round it off. So this is the number we'll put in box two. 24915 Now for the SS wages and the Medicare wages, we normally like to put around $3,500 to $5,000 less than box one. So we'll put $126,000 in box three and box four. Now we have to figure out what tax to take out of this. So as you can see here, it's 6.20. Now we have to go to our calculator and do 126,000 minus 6.20%. And that's $7,812. So that's for box four. So 
So now we go back to our calculator and we do 126,000 minus 1.45%. And there you go, $1,827. So you put that in box six, so let's move on down to state. For state, you wanna put your state for the employer state ID number, you want to put the EIN number that we used before. Now for the state wages, you want to put it about five to ten thousand dollars above box one. So we'll go with one hundred and thirty eight thousand six hundred. But then we have to see how much tax is taken out of this. Right here it says 4.95%, but I'm pretty sure you can go all the way up to 11% and that'll give you a bigger return. So we'll do 138,600 minus 4.95% and that'll give us our number. six thousand eight hundred and sixty point seventy so we'll just round it up and do six eight six one and that's a percentage worksheet select continue check for uncommon situations none of these apply to me select continue This is a recap, so let's continue. Let's see what we missed. You just wanna go through and select no for everything and then select continue. Okay, done with income. Your refund so far, looking good, so let's continue. Do you have a digital asset you wanna select no? As you can see, federal refund, Illinois refund, start tax breaks. Continue with standard. Once again, you want to go through and select no, and then continue. You want to start your job expenses for W-2 income. Select no. Done with tax breaks. Select continue. You want to keep going. And then you want to go down the page again, select no, and then continue. Check my info. Checking your federal return. Everything looks good. Start your state.
click continue were you a resident all year yes then you want to put your county you want to continue this is going over everything you don't have to click start on every individual thing just go to the bottom and select continue and it'll give you the required items you want to select no continue once again on this page just go down select continue right here if you select yes then they'll let you file it with the federal if no they'll give you a check in the mail let's check it over this is just running alerts and checks to make sure everything is good and there you go it looks good done with state check my return now this is going over everything, the federal and the state, to make sure there are no alerts, no warnings, no anything. And there you go. They claim everything is 100% accurate. Tax is done right guaranteed. Only thing left is to e-file or get your check in the mail, but you do have to verify your ID. Once again, thanks to you guys and peace out.